In 2001, my family went through a truly life-changing adverse event in our native country of Kenya. Mine was a normal middle-class family of four, and while it's not for God's grace, I would not be here to tell this story. My 10-year-old daughter and I earned ourselves the title of immigrants when we ran away from home and came to America, a place of freedom and refuge. Thanks to the kindness and the openness of our new neighbors, we thrived here and our lives are transformed every day. I arrived in the U.S. with a bachelor's degree in business administration. In the interest of serving my greater community, I attended Shoshin Valley School of Practical Nursing in Berarica, Massachusetts, and became an LPN. I built upon that degree with a one-year accelerated Bachelor of Science in Nursing at Creighton University in Nebraska in 2009. As a graduate nurse, I interned at Yale University Hospital in New Haven, Connecticut, and was certified as an RN here in Massachusetts in 2013. Still working to enrich my skills and service, I obtained a master's degree in emergency and disaster management, graduating in 2015. In October of 2015, I enrolled to study in a Capella University Doctor of Public Health program, which I hope to complete soon. I volunteer my time between serving breakfast to veterans and serving hot meals on wheels to the elders in our community. My daughter could tell you a similar story. She attended Beverly Public Schools and then Virginia Military Institute before becoming a, a commissioned officer in the U.S. Army. She is now a captain with the Corps of Engineers and is studying for her Master's of Science in Operations and Project Management. I credit my education success and the fulfilling path of service to my community. It has brought me to the fact that I have been enabled to live as a naturalized citizen in this wonderful country and 17 years as a resident in a community that embraced us and our potential. My daughter and I are both examples of what is possible when one lives in a supportive and nurturing community like Beverly. As wonderful as our home city of Beverly is, and as empowering as Beverly community is, there is need to ensure that everyone has access to the same opportunities. For this reason, our community, led by Councillor Estelle Rad, created the Beverly Human Rights Committee, to which I was graciously nominated as a member by our mayor. After the committee was created, partly to encourage and support diversity and inclusion, Beverly community declared that indeed, Black Lives Matter, and that immigrants are welcome here. These declarations encouraged me to come out of the shadows to ensure that these people were represented with equity. By giving us one of your three votes for councillor at large, you will be addressing these people's needs for security, for safety, for belonging, and for agency. My name is Esther Godo, and I take this opportunity to ask you to please vote for me as your councillor at large in the upcoming November elections. This is the best way to ensure that all of Beverly is served with justice and equity. Thank you and God bless you.